deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. And again, those bloody men would translate to the so-called white man. Now, you might have someone to say, how can you say that these bloody men here is only reserved to the so-called white man? How can you prove that these bloody men is concerning the so-called white man? <laughs> well, let's hear it from the bloody man himself. Now, real quick, what I wanted to do was pull up a few quotes from these international bankers, which pretty much ties him into being the bloody man that the scripture speaks of. As if we need <laughs> to read a couple of quotes to prove that this man is the devil and Satan. I mean, his works alone proves that he's the bloodthirsty that the scripture speaks of. But as it were, you know, being in a time where Inquisition is being made, court is in session, well, it's our job <laughs> to bring forth more and more evidence, which is overwhelming right now the evidence that's piling up against this devil all right so this is a quote from baron rothschild and it says the time to buy is when there's blood running in the streets <laughs> the time to buy is when there's blood <laughs> running in the streets pretty much what this devil is saying is this is what life centers around our livelihood centers around blood that's the best time to invest, which goes back to Genesis, the 27th chapter. While our Lord, Yahweh Shai, in the form of Isaac, gave this man his blessing. <laughs> and where he made the statement, by thy sword thou shalt live. See? <laughs> the time to buy is when there is blood running in the streets. Proving that this devil is the bloody man that scripture speaks of. This is a quote from David Rockefeller. It says, uh, we are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis. And this is the time we're in. All right, this is the perfect opportunity for these devils to strike as touching, establishing their new world order and crowning their enterprise.